What in the hell? Am I am I really back again in this world? After not even that long from the last time I was back in this world? This series is supposed to be over. But it's not. It's weird, isn't it? It's like I got three Tarrier series going on at once. But welcome back. We're finally in 1.3.1. There's some dope stuff we're going to do in this episode. Because they finally added in the uh, pre-Moon Lord armor. Thorium did. And we're here to, you know, mess with that stuff. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know what this stuff does. So I'm just going to get yellow. Buy yellow wrench and then buy, like, a bunch of wire. I really want to... <laughs> see uh this what is it called the conveyor belts in motion i don't know how to craft the conveyor belts though but yeah we are getting the armor let me actually open this up and go to recipe i don't know what it's called i think it's called shade is it shade armor it is shade armor oh shade master so we need dark matter and we get dark matter from the dungeon look at these these weapons are dope we get dark matter from the dungeon uh from certain enemies there and that's why I want to get conveyor belts going. Actually, might as well since we're here, look up conveyor belts. Convey. Convey. Show me the answers. What? Alright, this should uh, be interesting how this works. Now, I want to get a conveyor belt going. Oh, shit. We're going to get attacked by so many things. Let's just... First off, let's do this. Let's just clear... Let's clear an area. So, these conveyor belts... They go this way. Spores, come on now. There we go. Oh shit, hey, Bone Lee, we need to kill Bone Lee. Hello, bye bye. Look at that. Oh, we got Dark Matter. Alright, so. Oh, another Bone Lee. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is pretty easy. This is uh, not gonna be that hard, is it? So, okay. I'm just trying to see what direction he's going. This goes in. Okay, so this dodge going that direction. So, we want, we want it to, like, go that far in this direction. Shit, maybe I should have made. Okay. This is what we'll do. This is what we'll do. Since we got this door here. Um, I'm buff. Since we got this door here, let's make the door go a block higher. Fuck off. One hit him, please. Okay, or not. What the? Does it not one hit anymore? Am I going crazy? Okay, what was I doing? So, we want to put the door here because they'll have to go up a step to open the door. If you understand what I'm saying. Okay. So then when they come in, they'll all be led into a hole. What was that? Oh, it was a Kraken. Okay. They'll all be led into this hole where they will meet their demise, hopefully. I did not bring anything. Oh my god, the items actually come over here too? I did actually buy this right here. The, uh whatever it's called, I don't know, static hook, this interesting hook, confusing, like the anti-grav hook, very confusing, where, where do you even get the anti-grav hook, is that a Martian invasion, die, 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 die. I like, I like all the weapons that we have slowly gathered over our adventure, because they're all like OP as hell, get out of here, we're not getting too much dark matter though, it does drop from specific monsters, um, I'm trying to think here. I really should have brought some stuff to make this farming experience easier. But no problem. So the goal is to drop them into here and then I'll be like underneath. Fuck you. I'll be underneath. That's if you guys understand what I'm saying. So I'll be right back. Let me get everything set up and hopefully not die. I feel that it's weird that I have five, almost five black belts. Um, hello? Why do I... Alright, drop rates. Drop rates being kind to me when I don't need them to be. I remember I, it took me a while to actually get those during the playthrough. But yeah, it's actually kind of weird uh, since I updated to 1.3.1 for Zoklin, that is. Well, I guess we're not really into throwing playthroughs, so it's not really that weird anymore. But uh, Zoklin did change a bunch of things. So if you guys are playing and you update to 1.3.1, make sure to check out stuff from Zoklin. Make sure your stuff is right like this. It's Stellar Emblem and is no longer uh, whatever it was called before. I don't remember. Gilded Throwing Emblem? I don't remember. I think it's called that. But I spawned that back in because uh, I did not have it since they changed the name and ID. I think they changed the ID number. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure how Terraria works like that. I know how Minecraft works. But 
Terraria and a little bit in on that. A little bit in. Okay, I think we have enough. I'm gonna teleport back. Holy bonely shit. Okay, so let's sell all this bonely stuff. Thank you very, very much, bonely, for all your donations. Uh, let's just sell everything else we don't really need. I guess I'll keep the ectoplasm. Doesn't really matter. I didn't really get to use this. Look, the wire is yellow. Isn't that pretty? Alright, so, now, let's attempt to make this. Where do we even make this at? Oh, we just make it right here. Hopefully I have enough. I think it's like 40-something for the armor itself. 45? I don't remember. Uh, but let's read what it does. The shadows and strike with precision. 20% increased throwing damage, 33% chance of nothing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Pretty decent. And then let's see the set bonus. Striking enemies with shade weapons gives you shadow dance. Frame rate, what the hell? My frame rate like vanished right there. Let's put on uh, the Devil's Carapace. Shadow dance. Can I, get, can I get shadow dance, please? Please? I want shadow dance. Oh, here we go. No, is shadow dance not a thing? Am I using the wrong weapon? Just, I don't know. Alright, you know, let's just make the weapons too. Might as well make the weapons if I can. Oh shit, there's a lot of weapons. Did you see that? You see how many weapons there are? God damn. I could've I wish I had this. Buganaki Shuriken Shade Dagger. I'll make that. First one I'll make. I'm guessing this is like a weaker this is just something you can throw. I don't know if it's just me. Okay, well here's Shadow Dance. Apply nasty bleed to enemies, throwing damage crease. Increase in clicking Q will teleport you to the target location. What the fuck? That's crazy. Isn't Q quick heal for me? What the heck? Bye bye. Oh, I didn't teleport. Bye bye. Okay, I gotta change what key it's used for. Oh god. Uh. <laughs> menu? No, it's not menu. What would this be considered? I don't know what it would be considered. You'd have to change your healing. Or at least I'd have to change my healing button. Alright, interesting. Whee! That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I don't like that it's a throwing weapon. But it doesn't... It's not a throwing weapon, if you get what I'm trying to say here. It does throwing damage, but you don't actually throw it. It's kind of weird. Uh, there's the kunais. I think we should make the non... The non, like, disposable ones. Alright, this is cool. What the fuck? Uh, throws out a sight that will stun foes. It hits. I really want to fight something now. Let, let's uh, spawn a boss. Alright, let's start with a little warm up right here. Look, I got my uh, abominations on deck. These guys' uh, textures have been updated. Nice to see. Oh my. <laughs> Alright. So these nice, nice and little easy to use weapons right there. I should probably activate these. All right, let's oh, shit. let's see the next. Let's fight. I don't want to fight the lich. Let's fight him. He's uh kind of easy. Okay, let's use this if I can. Does this actually stun him? Look at that shit. That's crazy. That is very interesting. All right, let's apply the little bleed. What does it do? Eviscerate. What does eviscerate do? Throwing damage will apply nasty bleed to enemies. Alright, that's that's cool. This boss is out. I don't know where he is. I don't know where the boss is. Oh, there he is. That's not him. Where? Hello? Why are you all the way up here? Hey, man. I hope you like... Hold up. I hope you like being eviscerated. This is... Okay, you don't have to click constantly. Very interesting. Uh, <laughs> you can throw out a lot of these. I like that. Whee! I like being able to teleport too. That's pretty cool. But it's nice to see them expand for the Moon Lord. I actually did type on the forums. I don't know if it was just me or what. I feel like I'd. I feel like I'd be saying too much if like, oh, he added in the post 
post pre-moon lord stuff just for me but i did go on the forums and request that there was a set because it seemed pretty hard to do with just the set we we are given to fight him which was the the plague the plague set and the plague set you can make really early on now and you don't have to fight the lich i'm pretty sure you don't have to which is nice nice to see that they are changing things and contouring contour not really that's i don't think whatever uh they're just making it a lot easier to be a thrower i'm not saying easier but they're making it more comfortable more fitting to be a thrower and that's nice to see so i think this actually might be the finale of the series unless something crazy something magnificently crazy gets added in but i hope you guys enjoyed the throwing series it was fun and i will see y'all next time the, the, look at that look at that look at that i'm over it didn't teleport me